Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We are talking about series 10. We are learning a great deal on circles. Today's is episode number 6 and today we are going to review angles subtended by a chord. What do we mean by this particular term? So now let's assume that we have a we have a line AB and P is any other point on the plane. So then what happens is when we join, when we talk about the angle which is subtended by the line segment at point P, what do we really mean by that? So we have a line AB and P is any point on the plane. So we are talking about the angle subtended by the line segment at point P. It means that if you are standing at point P, how are you going to look at the line segment AB? That means you have to be at point P and from there you have to see how will you be looking at line AB. In other words, if you are standing at point P, you are going to be, when you look at line AB, this will be the angle that you will have when you are at point P. So this angle A, P, B, this is the angle which is subtended by the line at point P. Now let's expand on this concept. So here what we have is we have drawn a same line or any line AB and instead of one point I have taken like PQRS multiple points and we, what we want to do is we want to find out the angle subtended by the same line segment AB. In all of these cases we have the same line segment AB but the line is subtending different angles at each of these points. So what will be the angle subtended by the line segment at point P? This is going to be the angle subtended by the line AB at point P. So this is going to be the angle A, P, B. Now what about the angle made by the line segment at point Q? It will be this angle. So this is the angle which is angle A, Q, B. So this will be the angle subtended by the same line AB but at point Q. Similarly, you will note that the angle subtended by the line at point R will be this angle which is going to be angle A, R, B and finally the angle subtended by the line AB at point S will be this angle. So which is angle A, S, B. So now in the context of a circle, so let's draw a circle. So here we have drawn a circle and we have taken any two point AB, right? Now angle subtended by the chord at the center. So if we want to find out the angle subtended by the chord at the center, what we have to do? We have to basically join OA and OB. So this will be the angle which is subtended by the chord or the line segment AB at center. So similarly friends, if we take a circle, so the angle, if we have taken a circle center O and two points AB, AB, so the line segment AB is the chord. So the angle subtended by chord at the center O is going to be this angle, right? But if you want to also find out the angle subtended by the chord at point P and Q, where P and Q are two other points on the circle. That means the same chord AB, but we have now instead of trying to find out the angle made at the center, we are taking any two points P and Q. So this will be the angle subtended by the chord AB at point P and this will be the angle subtended by the chord AB at point Q.